My videos are for entertainment only. All source materials in my videos are from the public domain and comply with the USA Fair Use and UK Fair Dealing guidelines. Hi everyone, Kelt News here. I'm reading an article about Kate and Megan, um, where it's saying that Megan was accused of attacking Kate passively, destroying her future character. This is the International Business Times. And they're basically saying that Megan is accused of attacking Kate in a passive aggressive manner, that they've been pitted each against each other since the time that Megan started dating Prince Harry. That the fans, the royal fans, were hoping that they would become best best friends and how they never turned out to be the the fab four as that people hoped for. It goes on to say, Meghan, Markle and co have attacked Kate Middleton passively aggressively since joining the royal family. Nothing has worked. You can bet when the divorce comes and Meg does interviews, she will destroy Kate's character and make her seem unfriendly and cold. And it says, Meg's isn't done yet. Watch your back, Kate. One netizen wrote on Twitter, I disagree. I don't think she will... If, if this is her intent, I don't believe that she would be able to destroy Kate's character. The British people have their own opinion of different members of the royal family. And Meghan is not going to be able to change that. A number agreed with the post, with some warning Kate to watch her back because of Meghan. Others were confident that her alleged scheme against Kate won't work. And it goes on to say she naively thinks it will work, but it will have the adverse effect. And it goes on to ask why? Because Catherine is British and the nation will always stand by its own first. She will try and get sympathy through the US, but she's underestimated how popular William is there. And he looks like Diana too goes on to say how smart Kate is and how she and her family have distanced themselves for a good reason and that William um, has seen the writing on the wall as well. Another point of view was that Meghan is putting the royals in danger and her supporters believe that the backlash she received was only due to her colour and race. But others are disagreeing with that and saying that it's nothing to do with why people don't like her that she has been disliked for her dishonesty and extreme spending habits for her clothes. And I would add to that a lot more, you know, the way she's treated Harry or the way she's been seen to be treating him and the total chaos which seems to surround them both with things that are put out into the, in the news. Um, almost schizophrenic news where it's one thing one day, the, another thing the next day. Chopping and changing their minds, appearing to have no... No semblance of order in their life. You know, it's, we see it. Another interesting thing I read was that with this court case of Meghan's, um, with the papers, that they will dig into absolutely everything. And one thing that they will expose will be her true age, which it has been said is really 43, allegedly. Um, her sister, Samantha, said on Twitter some time back that she remembers bringing Megan home from the hospital when she was born and Samantha herself was 15 and that that would make her 43 now. Um, also, Megan's father has said in an interview, allegedly, that he has her birth certificate and that she is 43, allegedly. And her friends in her class at school are in their early 40s. So, yeah, not that it's important because people in the acting world and anybody can can give a false age. It's not really that important, I think, but I think it will go against her with everything else that she's been accused of, you know, being dishonest about. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.